The brand new legendary Moonlight cookie has been in the game now for approximately one week. And I myself, along with other content creators, have done a ton of different testing. And just to get this out of the way, yes, she is absolutely worth your investment. She's a legendary cookie, and so far we have not been let down by Dev Sisters dropping legendary cookies into the game and them being valuable. So starting it off here, Moonlight Cookie is a magic user, and her position is placed in the middle. When it comes to her skill dream of the night sky, it's going to be at a base value of 15 seconds for the cooldown, which again is already super, super low for a legendary cookie that's doing insane amounts of damage. We're not going to read the entire skill description, but a couple of things I do want to point out is one, she's going to be doing a mega ton of area damage. As you can see that we've got this starlight periodic damage here that can tick up to 10 times. Again, that's going to be based on 108.5% of damage per tick. The second mechanic we've got, that's going to be additional starlight damage being done against cookies at a 5.5% of max HP. We've got Ignore, um, a damage resist of 40%. Again, we're going to be based on that Moonlight damage. And then we also, not only that, have a new mechanic called Sleep for two seconds. That new Sleep mechanic is going to put enemies that you're going up against asleep, whether it's going to be in the arena or the world expiration. You can tell that an enemy is asleep by having disease above their head. However, it doesn't stop there, though. If you have an opponent that does not fall asleep or resist the sleep, they will then be applied a Drowsiness debuff which as you can see here, will reduce their attack speed by 15% and their movement speed by 15% for a total of 15 seconds. Not only that, last but not least, she also does provide herself a self-heal when she either wakes up from being put asleep from the enemies or after she completes her skill putting the enemies asleep. So yeah, she's absolutely insane as you would expect her to be as a legendary cookie. Up until this point, we haven't really had a legendary cookie that was lackluster per se. However, though, I will say that I think Dev Sisters did nail Moonlight Cookie correctly the very first time, and there doesn't seem to be like a buff that needs to be added. Now, diving into some PvE content here, when it comes to utilizing Moonlight Cookie in PvE situations, you gotta consider a couple of things. One, for PvE, you're going to have an abundance of enemies in multiple waves. So naturally, having any sort of area damage cookies or, you know, basically AoE cookies are going to benefit you. They're going to be doing a lot more damage, hopefully clearing out those waves a lot faster and thus allowing you to get the win. The second mechanic that you're looking for is going to be some sort of crowd controlling effect. All right, things like your freezes, things like your stuns, and then now, obviously, this brand new sleep mechanic. As you guys already are aware, the sleep mechanic will do very similar things like a stun would and basically prevent the enemies from utilizing their skills. It puts the cookies to sleep, and then not only that, if they do resist that sleep, they also would get an additional debuff being provided, thus reducing their attack speed and their movement speed, and eventually probably falling asleep. So yeah, when it comes to world exploration or PvE content in the game, especially things with multiple waves with multiple enemies, Moonlight Cookie is going to be god tier. She pretty much has everything you're looking for when it comes to the crowd control abilities, and not only that, the massive AoE damage, all packaged into one. Additionally, I'd like to mention that Moonlight Cookie is not only good for waves and waves of enemies, obviously due to her massive amounts of AoE damage, as you know she's built for, but you can also utilize her on boss stages. Obviously here that she's not going to be the most ideal because there's going to be better choices for single target units, things like Vampire or Rye Cookie or even Sorbet. However, though, however, if you do have a Moonlight Cookie, you got her leveled up, you've already invested in her, especially as an early game player, you can use her against bosses. I have tested this out via episode 14 and episode 15, and I've had a lot, a lot of good luck, especially with her at least staying alive and providing DPS. Now, diving into some PvE content here where I personally think every player is seeing Moonlight Cookie shine. If you simply take a look at the top 100 in any server that you're currently playing it on for Cookie Run Kingdom, it's inevitable you will see Moonlight Cookie being utilized everywhere. And it's for a good reason. Moonlight Cookie is easily swappable as a DPS unit in pretty much any team composition. Take a look at these three teams here. I mean, these are three that a lot of people are currently utilizing right now in the arena, and she just pairs well with pretty much any one of them. You could swap out Moonlight Cookie, for instance. You could pop in a Black Pearl. You could swap in a Frost Queen. Or, like I said, you can utilize a Moonlight. Literally, just a plug-and-play DPS all around. You can even utilize her here as a solo with two tanks in the front and then, obviously, two healers in the back. You name it, she can be utilized. Like I said, she's a very easy, swappable, in-and-out DPS unit.
that information, that concludes me to Swift Chocolates being the best toppings of choice here for Moonlight Cookie. Honestly, the biggest factor is gonna be getting that 20% for the cooldown, and then you wanna probably stack the rest of it into damage resistance just to aid in their survivability. If you have anything else outside of that and you get some god tier toppings, I would honestly say additional attack and crit percent are gonna be the two next ones to focus on. And that's gonna be wrapping up my thoughts on the brand new legendary Moonlight Cookie and the best toppings of choice. As I've already mentioned earlier here, she's a legendary cookie, guys. It's inevitable she needs to be super, super good to get people to spend money in the game to buy more packs or, you know, more shards to do more summons, that sort of thing. So 100%, she's going to be worth your experience. Star Jellies, and yes, that does mean you, if you are a new player diving into the game, you pick her, you get her early on. She's going to be a game changer for pushing content, especially in things like the world exploration and even the arena. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything cookie run kingdom related if you guys are a new player diving into the game for the very first time or maybe you're a returning player i highly recommend that you check out my ultimate beginner's guide of 2023 you could do so right here it's got everything you need to know to be successful in cookie run kingdom until next time guys i'll see you on the next one <laughs>